construct a grammar in GNF which is equivalent to the grammar having the following production so step number one when you ever you are solving a question on GNF the first step is to check whether there are any epsilon productions unit productions or useless symbols if there are any then we have to eliminate them so grammar is already in the simple form without any epsilon productions unit productions or any useless symbols so we can see that there are no epsilon productions no unit productions or useless symbols so we say that the grammar is already in the simplified form step number 2 is to check whether the grammar is in the chomsky normal form if the grammar is in the chomsky normal form then we will proceed to step number 3 if not then we will convert so let's see on the rhs for chomsky normal form you need either two non terminals or one single terminal so we have two non terminals one terminal two non terminals one terminal so we say that the grammar is in the chomsky normal form so we move to step number 3 step number 3 says that change the names of non terminal symbols into some ai in ascending order of i so we have to change the names of the non terminals into some ai into some ai but this i should be in the ascending order so what do you mean by this let's see we can proceed by renaming the variables and how will you rename s is giving you a a slash a so first s is coming so we say that s will re- be li- replaced by a1 so by ai means a1 in ascending order s is coming first so s will be giving the preference first so it will be a1 a will be replaced by a2 because a is coming second so s will be replaced by a1 a will be replaced by a2 so what we will do we'll replace it this is there so s replaced with a1 a a replaced with a2 a2 s replaced with a1 then s also is giving you small a so s giving you small a so a1 giving you small a then a will be replaced by a2 so a2 giving you a1 a1 and a2 giving you b these are the productions after renaming now the next step is alter the rules so that the non terminals are in the ascending order such that if the production is of the form ai giving you ajx then i should be less than j so that means what we'll do now i should be less than j that is we'll check a1 a2 a2 your your i is 1 j is 2 so i is less than j this is acceptable uh. next is a2 giving you a1 a1 your i is equal to 2 this is 2 and j is 1 you don't have to bother about these uh, so i is greater this is not accepted so we have to alter the this what you have to do you have to alter this according to some rules so every production of the form ai giving aj alpha must with i greater than must be modified to i less than j so in this a2 production a2 giving you a1 a1 should be modified because here i is equal to 2 which is greater than j equal to 1 for a2 giving you a1 a1 
so we must substitute a2 a2 slash a for the first a1 so substitute this a1 instead of this first a1 substitute this slash a because your a is also there so substitute this so when you substitute what do you get you get a2 giving you instead of the first a1 right a2 a2 a1 second a1 as it is then a2 also giving you instead of the first a1 right small a and a1 as it is second a1 as it is so these are your new productions so why did we do this we did this because your i should be i was greater than j which was not allowed uh. if you see here your first one is a2 giving you a2 a2 a1 the resulting set of production is a1 a is nothing but a2 a2 slash a and your a2 is a2 a2 a1 slash a a1 slash b now in the previous part in the steps we discussed that whenever you have a k giving you a k into some alpha then we say that it is a left recursion that means this is same as this uh, here 2 is same as 2 so this is left recursion uh, left recursion and we need to get rid of this left recursion uh. so how do we get rid of this left recursion we have to remove the left recursion next step is to remove the left recursion So the A2 productions A2 giving you A2 A2 A1 slash A A1 slash B contains left recursion. So A2 was this whole thing this whole thing with a B also. So that is a left recursion. Why? Because you are also you have a 2 you are also you have a Two i should never be equal to j. If i is equal to j, we say it is a left recursion. Ah. So left recursion for a two can be removed through the introduction of b two production. So introduce a new production. Ah, that is b two. So here originally a two was a two a two a one slash a a one slash b now when you introduce a b2 production what will you do this is causing a problem huh? so these two you will take and write it with the b2 production once so a2 a1 b2 and once you will write it without the b2 production that is a2 a1 so how will you remove the left recursion introduce a new production so here i have introduced a production b2 now in this b2 production the one which is causing a problem the last two you will take and you will write a b2 so you will write a2 a1 b2 slash a2 a1 so once you will write it with the b2 production and once you will write it without the b2 production and you will also rewrite a2 as a2 will be i will be rewriting a2 so again this is also easy you will rewrite a2 as b a a1 b b2 a a1 b2 now how did you get this so first is apart from this in the a2 you have to forget about this now for the new a2 
this is your new a2 you only have to focus on these two so first we will write this also without the b2 production so write b as it is a a1 as it is then we will we'll write it with a b2 production so b b2 and a a1 b2 so then you will add a b2 production now so what have we done this is your resulting a1 was a2 a2 slash a1 a2 how did you get a2 you will introduce a because a2 was causing a left recursion so we introduced a new production b2 what did we do we introduced a new production b2 next what did we do we wrote b2 as see let's see one more time this part see we had this a2 giving you a2 a2 a1 but this was not allowed because i was equal to j therefore it was causing a left recursion so we have to eliminate this part uh, what did we do we introduced a new production b2 now b2 we wrote took the last two non terminals of this and we wrote a2 a1 once we wrote with b2 once we wrote it without b2 as a2 a1 and we also made a new a2 now in this new a2 we had the other two productions of a2 that is a a1 and b these two were not causing any problem they were not causing any left recursion so we wrote them as it is first and then we wrote them with the b2 this is how we got the new resulting set up now we see that a2 productions are in gnf why is a2 in gnf because in a2 if you see then you can see that a2 everything is starting with a terminal for a gnf you need to start with a terminal so a non terminal giving a terminal and something else now this something else that is the alpha can be zero that is epsilon production as in case of b if you see there is a epsilon production or it can be more than zero or more like you see for these three but it should start with a terminal that is a compulsory rule start with a terminal so we see that a2 is in gnf because a2 is starting with a terminal why because here it is starting with terminals but a1 is not starting with a terminal a2 a2 is not starting with a terminal and b2 is also not starting with a terminal so now what we'll do we will substitute so substitute what substitute a2 instead of this a1 so a1 will be substitute the first a2 first a2 will be a a1 b2 a2 this is your first a2 substitution then a b2 substitute a b2 in a2 a b2 a2 then substitute a a1 a a1 second a2 return as it is then substitute b so b substitute in place of the first a2 so b a2 and this a will be return as it is a this is your a1 next we'll see for b2 now in b2 also you have a2 a1 b2 and a2 a1 so first a2 will be substituted in a2 a1 b2 and first a2 will be substituted in a2 a1 so for b2 if you see a2 a1 b2 so b2 substitute the first a2 a a1 b2 see here a a1 b2 a a1 b2 a1 b2 return as it is a this a1 b2 will be return as it is a then again a1 b2 return as it is 
the first a2 replaced with b b2 then again a1 a2 return as it is this is substituted with a a1 then this b will be returned and a1 b2 will be returned so basically what you are doing substituting the first a2 the first a2 is substituted similarly for a1 a2 a1 you what you will do a1 will be written as it is throughout uh, and a2 will be replaced uh, a2 will be replaced by a a1 b2 b b2 a a1 and b so this was your so finally what you will get final set of productions will be a2 giving you a a1 b2 slash b b2 slash a a1 slash b a1 giving you all these productions we saw here these productions a1 giving you all these productions and b2 giving you these and these both so this is your final set this is your answer so where set of variables v is a1 a2 b2 set of terminals t is small a small b start symbol is a1 and set of production p is given above this is your final set of productions so this is the way we solve a gnf sum in gnf we have to remember that the first letter should always be a terminal so what do we do we first see whether there are any epsilon productions unit productions or useless symbols if any we we'll get rid of them step number 2 we convert everything into a cnf form if it is already in the cnf form well and good step number 3 we check for we convert the non terminals in the form of a of i in the ascending order of i then step number 4 we check whether i is greater than j if i is greater than say we say that it is not acceptable and we modify how do we modify we modify by using a substitution method now if suppose while using that substitution method you get a left recursion where i is equal to j then we get rid of that left recursion by introducing a new production so you introduced a b2 production in this case so you will introduce a new production then after introducing the new production we check whether everything is in the gnf form for checking whether everything is in gnf or not we see whether the first symbol is a terminal if the first is the symbol is a terminal then we say it is acceptable so in this case we saw that a2 is in the gnf form because you have the first symbol as a terminal small a and small b a1 and b2 were not so a1 and b2 we will substitute a2 and get a1 and b2 and then we get the final answer